Jules, it's that part of the show which uh, our producer, Freddie, has, uh, has dubbed Alphabet 11. Um, Amazing. And this week, our Sesame Street letter of the day is the letter <laughs> C. It's the letter C. And I have to say, you guys who listen to us, you're absolutely legends because you send loads of your teams uh, on Twitter, both to Gavin and my account and the SPNFC account. So we've picked, we've picked a few. Obviously, you've got a lot of names that come back, like Carvajal and Radbach and Courtois in goal. But sometimes you've got a few variations. So, for example, we've got uh, Ruben Daniel Zavala, who sent a, a good team, Courtois in goal. Back four of Carvajal and Chilwell, two fullbacks. Chiellini and Christensen two of your favorite uh, in cent- in, uh, centre-backs, Casemiro and Camavinga in the centre midfield, and then Coman, Cazola, Callejon, and Cavani up front, which is a pretty strong team, to be fair. Alexander Mendes has a, a similar back five, exactly the same, then Casemiro as well, but he plays 4-3-3, and ahead of Casemiro, he's got Emre Chan and Castrovilli from Fiorentina, who is a very, very yes. good shot that we both like. And then the front three of Callejon, Cavani, and, and Coman. Uh, what about Canadian Romelu? He plays with a diamond midfield. Oh, you're going to like that. You're going to like that. I mean, he's got Choluca as a centre-back. What, what is he? Is he related to Choluca? He must be. He must I didn't be. even know the guy still plays. I Where know, does he play? He does for Locomotive. A locomotive, yes. I think. Okay. I mean, yes. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's got Danny Ceballos in midfield with Chan and Casemiro. And then he's got Coutinho as a number 10, free roll. Probably his best position, to be fair. Ceballos then, and Coutinho together with just yeah. the one ball. You sure? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's a good point. And then Cavani and Diego Costa up front. Interesting. Um, so can or, I just point out, Cavani and Diego Costa is like a total sort of like, you know, God and Satan together. Or, or better yet, Jesus and Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> um, no, no, it's like the ultimate bad guy with the guy who looks like Jesus without a beard, right? Yes, it's a bit like yeah. that. I like, okay. I like, yeah, I like that. I like your uh, comparison. Okay. Um, we've got one from France, Mathias Sosed, who sent Courtois in goal, back three of Carvajal, Clichy, and Kalitakar, the, so, uh, the can, Marseille. Can I, can I point something out? Okay. I nearly had Kalitakar in my team. I want to give anything away. But this is the back three from France, right? Part of the reason you guys struggle with some of these concepts, and, and I've explained this to people, and France is weird because you've got a lot of people who are way into football and really understand football. But then, obviously, the majority of the country are fans of other sports, like rugby, cycling, or smoking. So, um, how do you put Clichy and Danny Carvajal in your back three? This is what Cruyff would have done. You basically leave Kalitakar, because he's so good, pretty much on his own. And then Clichy and Carvajal could be like those new, modern... Full bag yeah. slash center bag slash whatever you want. Then you've got Kamavinga and Casemiro to secure that midfield. That's good. Coman, Correa, I guess it's Angel Correa, and then Ryan Cherky, the French prodigy from Lyon, and then Cavani and Cavalu in the front. I, I like oh, Manchester's really? team. I like Manchester's team. For Mark O'Brien, Courtois in goal, Kappa a right back from Athletic Bilbao, Diego Carlos from Sevilla, formerly at Nantes, and Conor Cody at the, in center backs. Cucurella, the Barca player on Lona Getafe, one of the revelations of the season in La Liga, a left back. Casemiro and Emre Chan, Angel Correa, Canales, who we all loved when he was a kid. And, when he was 16, and we, and we found out he wasn't now. quite that good, but yeah, okay. Douglas Costa, and then Cavani up front. All right, now, do we, do we, have, a, we have a submission of a, of, a, of a women's 11 too? Now, I, we encourage you, like, okay, I am way out of my wheelhouse. This is not my expertise, but... Our, our, our pal and colleague Sophie Lawson submitted one uh, for the A's. We got one for the we got one for the C's. We've got one indeed from Miguel Galan, who lives in in Mexico, I believe. Well done to you, Miguel, and that's a pretty 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 cool team. In goal, you've got Catacol, the um, the the Spanish goalkeeper. Then you've got a back four of Eli Carpenter, Viola Caligaris, Rachel Corsi, and Steph C- Catley. Pretty strong back four. Then you've got my favorite, uh, Delphine Cascarino, as the the right player on that midfield four. Uh, Erin Cuthbert, the Scottish, the Scottish player. Dana Castellanos and, and Marta Cardona from Spain as well. And then the front, front two of Christian from, uh, from Brazil. And then Tabitha Chawinga as well, which is, Miguel, a, pro- a very strong C team, you have to say. Very impressive, very impressive. Now, uh, I know you're dying to hear my team, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, go on. 
Go on. Okay, I just slightly disappointing because I wanted to be a little bit uh, different, but um, yeah, of course. so I've gone with Thibaut Courtois at the back because there's just no argument there. Yeah. Uh, Danny Carvajal again. I didn't think there were that many good left left backs. I tried to come up with somebody slightly more original, where I liked more than Chilwell. Uh, I did consider uh, Gail Clichy, but then he's got a girl's name. So oh, um, he's my team. Go I, I, I figure I somehow I figured he'd be in your team. <laughs> um, center backs. Um, I went with my man um, Giorgio Chiellini because yeah. you know. The guy's got a law degree and a very large nose, and he's a warrior. And he is the typical player who <laughs> people hated when he was younger, and then and now that he's old, people tend to like again. I wonder if it's going to happen with Sergio Ramos. I'm guessing no. Um, and then, of course, your buddy Caleta Carr yeah. at, uh, at the back. Now, in midfield, Emre Sean, Camavinga, and of oh, course, yes. the phenom that is yeah. Castrovilli. Got to yeah, be Gaetano Castrovilli, of course. Um, now, because I always try to get as many viable Fiorentina players uh, in the team as possible. Up front, part of the front three, got to be, got to be Federico Chiesa, obviously. Yeah. Uh, on the opposite wing from Chiesa, because I like balance. Why? Who better than Jesus Corona, right? In these in this yeah, ancient yeah, yeah. times, in you got to have yeah. the, the you know Mexico's finest uh, uh, player named after a beer. Yeah. Of course, Corona also, you know the story about how Corona was known as Tecatito before that, yes. right? Yes. You know why and stuff. It's a brilliant story. I'm going to assume all our listeners know. If you don't know why, do some Googling or hit Jules up or, or me on social media and we'll tell you. And then, of course, up front, why, who else but Shaven Jesus and Sin Cavani. That's pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Okay, this is my. This is mine. Uh, I play in a, in a four-three-three formation like you. I've got Courtois in goal. No debate. I've got Celik, the Turkish international right back from Lille, who is a very, very good young player to come through. I've got Gal Klichy, I left back, my brother, of course. <laughs> Your brother and, from another mother, yeah. Exactly. Right. And then my centre back is Akelini, of course, and and Conor Cody, as we said, double C as well. He deserves to be there. My midfield three, Castrovilli, I'm Obviously. with you all the way, great sure ahead of him. Kamavinga, because he's, he's Great just... minds think alike. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And then I've got Santi Cazola, because for me, coming back from where he was, he's yeah. the good gap. I mean, the guy had like, what, nine surgery on his Achilles. They had to take some skins of his I, arm to pull down his, his, I, on, on his I foot. I defer to it's you incredible. on this. But no, Cazola is a much, much better pick. I tip my hat to you, sir. Yeah, you know, Santi, and he's the one of the most loveliest guys you would ever meet in football. So Santi, there. He's and a warrior a of the three. light. Yeah, and and front three of Kings Le Coman. You know, for me, obviously, I'm Paris born and bred kid. Douglas Costa, and then and then you know who I've got as number nine. Yeah, you know who I've got. Edinson. Cavani. Right, brilliant. I can't I can't argue with that. I think that'd be pretty impressive. I I don't like having Douglas Costa and Kings Le Coman. I think. Artist, the number flip flap king on one side and then the pace on the other is brilliant. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.